Now that we have finished calculating our test statistic and finding our p-value, and when we rejected our null hypothesis, we are ready to actually write out our conclusion and do our post hoc test. Okay, so let's start off with just writing our conclusion. Here we go. So we will start off very similarly with we have collected sufficient sufficient evidence and then from here we need to actually report our test statistics so we've got F and from what we had before it was 2 126 equals 15.69 comma P was less than 0 0.001 alpha equals 0 0.05. To reject the claim that the true mean profit for each product type is the same and we conclude that at least one pairwise pairwise comparison is different. Okay, so this is our conclusion. So we basically are just rejecting our null hypothesis and concluding our alternative and we included in our test statistic we included in our p-value and our alpha so we're good up to this point so we've done our conclusion now since we rejected the null hypothesis the next one is like okay which one's different and maybe by how much and that's where Tukey comes in because Tukey does the pairwise comparisons and gives us our confidence intervals now, we have to be careful about how we talk about our confidence intervals. So previously, you know, we would just say that we're 95% confident that we're between these two values. Tukey's a little bit different. Tukey says that we are 95% confident that were we to, you know, repeat this over and over and over again, you know, 95% of the time, all of these confidence intervals for these three groups are going to capture their true differences. So it's not that we're talking about, we're confident about a single, it's not that we're 95% confident about a single interval capturing the true mean difference, is that we're 95% confident that all of them have captured their respective differences. So it's a little bit tricky to talk about, uh, but I'll show you a method uh, that is good to do that. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to erase out these and I'm going to put up some confidence intervals uh, just so that we have a point of reference. Um, so we could say that, uh, let's get up a different color. <clears throat> we'll do fruit compared to, we'll do like fruit compared to spices and we'll say that that guy wound up equaling the confidence interval was 30, 50, and we'll, we'll give it a p-value of 0 0.001, uh, zero, yeah, just 0.01. Okay, and then we'll do fruit compared to clothing, We'll do 10 comma um, 30 and we'll do P equals 0 0.04 and then the last comparison that we have is 
vices compared to clothing and we'll say that this is negative 5 comma 15 and we'll say that that is p like equals 0.5 Okay, so if those were our results from our Tukey test, we have two comparisons that are considered to be significant and one that's not. And we up here we have this negative symbol. It's not that it, we have negative dollars or all of a sudden we're in debt to somebody. It just means that if it's negative, then spices were smaller than clothing for a little while. And then when it got bigger, it means that spices were bigger than clothing. So it straddles zero. Whenever you have a confidence interval that straddles zero, it means that it's not significant. We weren't able to show that there were differences between these two. So here we've got two groups, or two of these pairwise comparisons that were found to be different. We need to talk specifically about those two. OK, so let's go ahead and do this, then it says while, while conducting, conducting a two-key post-talk at the 95% confidence level. Level, we found That fruit was significantly more profitable than spices. Now we need to include our confidence interval. So we will do confidence interval 10, oh, not 10, sorry, this was 30. 30 comma 50, p equals 0 0.01, and more profitable And clothing and we can include all oh, let's do a parenthesis our confidence interval was equal to 10 30 with a p-value 0.04 and a period. Okay, so from here we are, we're done. We don't really need to do anything more. We don't need to talk about spices compared to clothing. And the reason is, is because we didn't find that that one was significantly different. So let's kind of just highlight these couple parts real quick where we can say that this is the conclusion and this is the post hoc. Now, if we did not find significant results, we would just have said that we have collected insufficient evidence uh, to reject the claim that the true mean profit from each product type is the same. And we just put a period there, and everything else uh, we would eliminate. We would not need to include it uh, in, our, uh, in our report. So this is how we write out our, uh, our conclusions and our post hocs uh, to be able to communicate our results of our ANOVA analysis.